Firstly, everybody is commodity when they come into a company. You're as good as the next guy because beyond a point whether you, you know, you topped your class or you didn't top your class, beyond a point, you're going to do a job henceforth. So on the day when you come in, you're cookie cutter as anybody else. It's a question of what can you do different? How well can you do it? So the skills and there is a gap because we see it quickly. There are firstly gaps in attitude. So if, if people believe that they were born into uh, or entitled to what they were going to achieve in a company, those days are gone. You've got to be able to or want to prove yourself. So I think that's an attitude element. Two is whatever you've learned or you've been taught, that's great. Just use that as a springboard. What you're going to do for a client is very different. It's got to be real time, you know, contextual to a market and therefore you'll understand those differences. It's great to have the knowledge, but it's, it's greater, I think, to have the experience to understand what works and what doesn't. The difference is what somebody can do. And I think what you can do is skill yourself better while you're in the job. Because earlier when you were in, 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 in university, somebody was funding you and it didn't matter what you achieved. Here, somebody is paying for you and therefore they want to return. And that return on their investment is what makes you successful of a failure. So just remember that the money you get from a company is there as long as you are able to deliver to the expectations of that company. So my advice to everybody is there is a gap. Nobody knows everything. Today, thankfully, you've got Google, so you can halfway get there. But if you don't have a discerning eye, you won't be able to choose right from wrong. So it's about experience. It's about hard work. It's about the depth and width of understanding the category which you're working on. Nothing superficial works in any category today. So you've got to give it the time. You've got to learn a lot more. You've got to read a lot more. You've got to understand the category a lot more. You need to understand your, 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 your engagement with the customer a lot more. So it's finally companies about take, take, take. And it's about you giving, giving, giving. And with that, you'll probably arrive at a successful career going forward. You know, just for a minute to move away from advertising in this world of business, take Sachin Tendulkar. He was 16 when we first cast him in the Boost ad. You know, Boost is the secret of my energy. Do you think he had vision of greatness then? Or was he still, uh, you know, so young and he would not have known that he would go on to be that? I don't think he knew that. I don't think he knew that he had the talent or the tenacity or the perseverance to do what he achieved. But in his career life, mm -hmm. I think he, he, he mapped what he wanted to do and he never gave up. It's no different in a job. When you join on that day or on that morning, you're no different. There's, a, there's 35 to 40 years ahead of you. You've got to think of all the milestones which will get you there. Now, if you know where you want to be, and I, I, I must say that nobody knows where they want to be. And definitely nobody knows where they're going to end up. But there's no harm in saying, I want to be the top of the company I'm working with. So that's a good starting point. I just, just say it as simply as this. I want to lead this company. You may subsequently change, but at that point of time, just say, I want to lead this company. And what do you think I need to do? Now, in that, you, you'll, you'll realize that there are a lot of things which you need to do every morning when you come into office, which will just make you shine a little more than the person next to you. And is there a long uh, lineup of people who want that same ambition? There is. Everybody wants to get rich quick. Everybody wants to be the top boss. It makes sense. I mean, why would you not want to be the leader of a company if you were given the choice? But it comes after having, you have to work for it. Sure. It's nobody's, unless you're working for your father's company, or unless you have the good fortune of being an industrialist son where you know whatever happens, the industrialist son is going to get that role. But if you're not, there are enough companies where you can be the boss. All you've got to do is take the right steps in your, uh, in your own future. So, and, and I'm sharing really uh, life's learnings. You must read a lot. So no course or no curriculum can teach you as much as you can by just reading. And if you're in a particular field or, or space, just read up all there is. And you, today you've got Google. So it's a simple set an alert for the category you wish to uh, lead or the category with which you want to be an expert on. 
uh, and, and, and keep yourself abreast. Two is if you look at online uh, education or if you look at continuous uh, education post your formal education, it can only help because all it will do is it will keep you abreast of what's happening but it will it'll deliver it to you in a different way. It will deliver it to you in what's current at that point of time. Now if you look at again education or learning or uh, you know continuous knowledge, every five or ten years something's changing. So there's no harm in keeping or I, I would say in fact there, there's an advantage in understanding what's changing and being abreast with somebody who's just passing out because that's the only way you can be as good as if not better. So at that point of time when you're competing with somebody who's 10 or 15 years younger than you, who's the current crop of this new generation of what has changed, it can help you because you know that and you have this as well. So it's really an and and situation. Continue to learn, continue to understand what they're learning, or what, what is being taught to uh, you know, uh, people who are 5 or 10 years younger than you. And if you've got what you have now, which is the wisdom of 5 or 10 years at this point of time, you're just so much better equipped. There is no substitute to hard work and even learning. And there's no substitute to hard work and what you do in your role.